Hey, if you're new here, my name is Craig Beckton, and in this video, I'm going to take you behind the scenes using high speed sync mode. For this shoot, we're shooting in high speed sync mode. So, this image here was shot with a shutter speed of 4000. Now, the reason why you might want to use high speed sync is if you're shooting outdoors on bright sunlight and you want to shoot at a wide aperture, like say f1.4, which we are for this shoot, then this is perfect for it. If you don't have a strobe that does high speed sync, you could also use an ND filter. But anyway, we're using the Godox 8600 Pro, which is allowing us to shoot up to shutter speeds of 8000. Now for our modifier, we're using the 36 inch Westcott Rapid Box XL and the Eyelighter 2 for fill. You can see there it's filled in all the shadows nicely. Now normally you probably would use the Eyelighter 2 in the studio, but I decided to try it outdoors. Now what we're doing here is trying different lighting patterns. So the first one was a butterfly lighting pattern or a clamshell because we're using fill. Now this one, we're just off to the left of the model. So you can see we're just using it 45 degrees and down and about 45 degrees to the left. Now I'm standing on these little elevations and having her do that too, because I want to break the horizon line. I don't want that crossing along between her head. So we want that horizon line either below her neckline or above. So you can see how that's cutting right there. I just like the way that looked as far as the composition goes. Now we're just really just moving this light around and going through a number of different poses and I'm making adjustments to the position as we go. And you can see we still have the sun as a hair light. So this is actually a two light setup, just using the sun as a hair light and then using our modifier. Now we shot this, I'd say about two hours before sunset. And I'm really just sort of working the shot, working the poses and trying to sort of give subtle direction as far as creating lines in the image as well. So you can see here too, we brought in a prop and then I'm just saying, just touch that modifier so you're about two to three feet within that. And we started it up with a little bit higher. So for a Rembrandt lighting pattern, and then you'll see that image in a second. And then we also lowered it to create a little bit more lighting on her face because I didn't want the hat to block the light. You can see I'm lowering that modifier again and it's just a matter of sort of looking at the back of your camera, making some little tweaks to your lighting setup. You can see that right there. So that's a shot. And so it's a matter of just sort of working your modifier from left to right and getting a variety of different lighting patterns and really finding something that works. I really like this combination of the hat and the light in that position. And again, we still have the sun as a hair light. So a couple of tips that I could pass on. Also too, you can see we have two sandbags there. If you're shooting outdoors, make sure that you have something sturdy like a C stand that we have here. And then also make sure that you have a couple of sandbags. If you don't, make sure that you have somebody there holding the light just for safety reasons. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you found these tips helpful. Hey, it's Craig here again. If you found these tips helpful, give me a thumbs up for this video. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, just click on subscribe and click on the bell notification and you'll get updates when I release new video tutorials. Also, if you want to share this video, just look below this video. You can click on share and you can share this video on photography groups and forums. All right, thanks for watching this video. And if you have any comments or questions, just leave them in the comments section below. All right, I'll see you in the next video.